Welcome back to a brand new build week. Uh, we just left off with Levi. Let's go in and show you what's up. Elena's testing out our shower stall. What you think? Um, that's big enough, I think. I yeah. can stand up in it. You know, you have just enough room to move around. Yeah. Okay. So I had to go to town today to uh, Ampere Time. I returned their batteries because uh, we're going with Dakota Lithium on this. Um, nothing against Ampere Time is they could they couldn't provide enough batteries for the build, and Dakota could. So trying to keep a good relationship with them. Uh, I had to drop those off in town so they could pick them up. Um, so we're starting late. It's like what one o'clock, something like that. Yeah. yeah, starting a little bit late. So. We're just, we're, it's anybody building a bus, I always try and say it's like sometimes it's really, really hard to get motivated and get going on things. And the best thing you can do is just get out there and start putting some road under the tires. So we're just going to do something. So our goal today, our only goal is to do the other stall. So the shower stall is done. Levi and I did that yesterday. And that's a little bit more intricate because it's got a full back. This one's gonna be a lot easier because we're using the back of the bus. We're only doing walls on the side. And then I bought lumber for Ember's bed today. So our only goal is to do the toilet stall. Let's get it. It's a new day, it's a new mission. Today's mission, Ember's Bunk Area. That's gonna be really cool. So that's today's mission. We're gonna fit, we're figuring this all out now. I got the tape measure out, my little book, and I'm trying to figure it out. I figure we'll do this whole section here, and then we'll stop, and we'll start building out this section. But we already got our bed, now we need to make Ember's. Let's get to it. Just cut it on Instagram.
kind of see what Ember's bed's gonna look like, and we're kind of deciding how we're going to kind of put it together. So we did the main frame, and then we're kind of figuring out <laughs> the rest of it, right? Um, we're kind of thinking we're gonna do a piece of ply here, so that I could do some kind of drawer here. Um, and we're also thinking about doing a little cubby hole here. So that's kind of kind of the plan. I've always wanted to destroy something beautiful. Oh, it didn't fall down. Hold on. <laughs> but why? Fight Club. Oh, I've never seen it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This way, and I'm gonna be coming. Kind of came off right there. Should be all right, right? Yeah. Y'all, check it out. Ember's room's gonna take two days. We're gonna end today, but that was a uh, good thing. I was about to go cut a brand new sheet of plywood and Jaylena was like, oh, let's see if that uh, scrap piece will work and it works just fine. So there's an $86 save right there. Good job. Yay. But kind of got, I wasn't honestly sure how we were going to do this. It's kind of a mix of two by three framing and three quarter. Um, Cause I just really wanted the strength of like two by three bed frame like I normally do. Um, but it made a lot of sense to go three quarter on the ground just for so we have a drawer side um so kind of a little hodgepodge mix here and we're going to finish this up tomorrow and jaylena and i are still kind of talking about how this is all going to go and this is another one of jaylena's ideas here a little nook here for books and things which i was just going to block off but jaylena was like oh but you could put books and little weird stuff in there so <laughs> you know good job jaylena we're going to end it here today and we'll all find out how this turns out tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning. It's a new day. I'm wearing the same clothes, so I know you can't tell. But it's a new day. Anyways, this is Jaylena's last day with us for the week. Um, and then Levi and I will continue to build in the next few days. Uh, so our main mission today, I'll show you. Do 29. We want to get Ember's bed area like completely finished up kinda, right? And I guess, I don't think we've really talked about it yet. So we've got this little nook right here for her to like stick stuff. It's gonna have slats. Um, always put slats on your bed. Huge mistake I see a lot of builders make is they just put a piece of plywood, traps moisture, creates mold, it's all bad. I see it over and over and over over the years. I'll see somebody building a bus or a van, they put a sheet of plywood down. Three months later, they're like, oh no, there's mold under my bed. And then they're putting hole saws in the in the in the plywood, and they're like, oh no, it's still not working. And then finally they put slats in over the course of three to four to six months. I did it myself in my first van, that's how I know. Slap your beds, ladies and gentlemen. Save yourself all that time and effort. Anyway, so Jaylena's cutting slats right now. The way this is gonna work, Jaylena's, or Ember's got that little nook. I'm gonna put a big old drawer right here for her stuff. We're gonna do overhead shelves, which is the next mission we're gonna do, all the way across. So she'll have all that storage. Um, and then Jaylena was saying something about she wants her to have a wall right here, basically. So a little bit more privacy. She was saying when she turns into a teenager, she's gonna want it. I had every intention of just leaving this open. We wanna try and get Ember's bedroom done as much as we can today. We wanna try and get this overhead and this wall done today. Let's get to it.
we had some changes. <laughs> we were gonna do a uh, closed shelf, but it just seemed like a lot of work for like a little bit of room. I think that we, we were able to come out more and it I, I personally feel like it's a very small space and with open shelves, for some reason, I don't know how Isaac thinks or feels, but I feel like it makes it feel a little more open too, and not so closed off. But yeah, I feel like we um, we got a little bit more space doing the open shelves than we would have gotten doing the closed shelves. Yep, so we ended up putting open shelves over there and uh, yeah, we're gonna take a lunch break. All right, y'all, that's the end of Jaylena during this video. So she's done for her work week. And then we got Levi back out here tomorrow. And I'm going to keep on filming and working until kingdom Whatever. come. Until <laughs> it's done. Till it's done. So anyways, boom, we got Ember's little, little palace Ember's here. Little Ember's little nook. Ember's little nook. And it turned out a little different than we were thinking. Jaylena definitely had some, uh, you know, like, I would have never, ever, ever did this half wall right here. I just think that as Ember gets older, she's going to want some privacy. And, I mean, you got to do it now. You can't add this on in 15 years, you know, 10 years. <laughs> yeah, so um, at this point, I, I kind of like the idea of doing this here because it, it leaves more white in the build mixed with the wood versus closing this off. So yes. I'm happy with this idea. Put some wicker baskets up there, stuff some stuff up there. Also, um, another reason I wanted to do this wall is because this is all, Ember's obviously not that big and she's not gonna be that big for a while. So this is all extra storage. I wanna hang a rod here so we have some hanging space. We don't hang a lot of her clothes now, but we will over time. And then maybe even do like a little shelf or something too, so. I don't know. I just wanted her to have that privacy, a little bit of extra storage. I'm really happy with how her bedroom came out. Same. I and I think all we're waiting on now is I need to buy some slides so I can make her drawer down there. And that's a big drawer. Oh yeah. That can fit a lot of stuff in there. Yeah. So I gotta make her drawer, and then we need to wire up her section. So she's gonna have a track light, uh, a USB, and so I need to wire her up. Um, and probably wire we need to do some wiring but that that's another day because i can't do anything until i get those slides and then we'll uh we'll put the slats in once all that's done and we throw some more havelock in there we'll have to keep keep pulling it out of minion <laughs> or i'll buy a box i should probably buy a cup i'll buy a box in the next few days it's just christmas man spending all kinds of money but anyways that's going to be it for jaylena we're going to end this. We're, we're not ending this video. We'll be back with Levi tomorrow morning. Peace. Actually, you throw your hand up. Bye, Jaylena. Bye. Good morning. It's a whole new day. This is... Jaylena was done yesterday. Um, and I usually film till like... S Sunday, sometimes Monday. And then I'll stop and edit the video. So you get a full build week here. Um, I got to figure out what we're doing today and then we're going to get into it. <laughs> This is the first time I've ever installed one of these like six inch max air exhaust fans. So I seen this in a schoolie shower a couple times. And I, again, I usually do smaller buses where like one max air fan in the middle would pull that out. But the max air fan in this bus is kind of far away from the shower. So I knew that I had to do something. Um, the cool thing about this is like, so I think I figured out how this goes. This mounts to the roof. This goes through the thingy, and then this little housing uh, attaches to the inside. And 
I gotta say, having the little light, I'm, I, it's kind of trick. Let's try and get it installed. Hello. So, when I bought that Max Air Fan, I found out the size of that hole and like a good little bus builder, I bought the whole saw for that size. Um, this whole saw sucks off of Amazon. It barely got through the wood inside and it is literally just not cutting the metal at all. So, Filipinos will survive. We uh, popped a hole through it and I got this handy dandy jigsaw. Everybody talks about my jigsaw. My jigsaw get work done, know what I'm saying? So we're gonna send it. Full send, baby. Full send all day. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you don't mask. And get that rattle can fast, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Rattle can fast, baby. <laughs> if it's dumb and it works, it ain't dumb. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we already pre-hung our wires and I'm gonna try and fish it through with this. So I hope that this sucker will go straight down there. Uh, we're gonna find out. I think I feel it. Nice. Oh yeah. Nice, that makes things so much easier. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh oh, where'd it go? Boom! Nice. And then... we we'll just pull it through now. Yeah, we're gonna stick it in a little hook. Heck yeah, Britt. Oh, both of them are going through? Why not? What's the other one for? The light. Oh, no, look at that. It has claws. Look at that! That's not gonna work well, I don't think. It's close. Is that gonna work? Boom. No! Boom. That was cool. Boom. Watch me whip. Watch I'll me watch whip. Him. That's how Filipinos get things done, ladies and gentlemen. That's how Filipinos get things done. That's Isaac, added more work. <laughs> he sent it so hard that uh, now he's gotta go back and fix it. It's always good to full send it, but sometimes it's not always the answer. <laughs> nah, full send it, what am I talking about? Full send, bro. Heck yeah, bro. Full send all day, bro. <laughs> All right, let's test our stuff. Whoa, there's our light. There's our exhaust fan. Oh, fancy. Looks like you're getting ready to shower. Fancy. Whoa, the reason we did that again is because this is a big bus and the big exhaust fans way over there. So we needed something to exhaust the moisture out from right here um, as we shower. I'm happy with it. We fancy now. We fancy now. Let me shower, get that exhaust steam out now. We fancy now. That looks really good. Uh, now I'm a little worried about my cock line. So bus life Jesus, please guide my hand as I send this home. <laughs>
Good morning. Good morning Hello. from the bus build. Uh, this is our last day of filming. So what you see today will be the end of this video. Uh, it, it's not a big bad mission today. We're just basically gonna build the closet fridge section. Um, and that's, that's kind of all on our mission plan. So we're not gonna talk much, let's get down. What are you doing there? I'm hanging some wire that's going behind the shower stall. Um, and then hiding in the shower stall for a second light. Because this light works, but I really like good light. And it's not hard to add more light right now. It's harder to add more light later. So I'd rather have more than I need. All right, y'all, that's gonna be the end of this week's building video. <laughs> some things changed and some ideas kinda blah, blah, blah. We were originally thinking about doing the cabinetry all the way out to that edge there, but what happened is it created another gap like we have over there, about a four inch gap. Um, and then with the drawers, 24 inch slider, it would leave four inches in the back. So it made more sense to push the cabinetry back against the wheel well and eliminate the four inches of gap in the back and just use all the space and create a little bit more elbow room in that section. And that's, I think, 26? Yeah, yeah. that's 26. And then the cabinetry is gonna step in again to 24 inches um, when we get to the kitchen cabinets and things like that. And then this is the Rec Pro fridge. Again, I got a discount code for the Rec Pro. Um, that's 12 volt. Looks like 110, but 12 volt. That's pretty friggin' awesome. I want to get one. <laughs> Old bus building hack. I see everybody putting 110 appliances in their buses, running 110 constantly, and that's what will kill your battery. The more you can do 12 volt, the more it lasts forever. Little, little tip. I see it every day. Oh yeah. But basically there's gonna be a whole lot going on here, and I guess you're gonna see that when we start the build week next week but we're done so thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end and if this is your first time finding this channel and you like bus stuff consider subscribing because that's all we really do here <laughs> and uh if you're a long time subscriber and you're here every single week so much love and appreciation hey, and yeah. we'll see you in the next one that's levi the giant I'll put his channel down below too, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for hanging out. Peace. Bye-bye.